What's up, Madden 25 fans? Welcome back. Another Zone Blitz breakdown, guys. Um, today's video is going to be very simple. The setup is almost identical to the Man Blitz, so it's going to be a quicker video. Real quick, before I get into the Blitz, I want to remind you, uh, I want to slow it down, and hopefully you guys can understand what I'm saying today. I know I've been going really fast trying to get through these, but um, go to my Facebook page, facebook.com slash MaddenTips365. Like the Facebook page, and guess what you're going to get? You're going to get my Nickel 335 ebook that I'm going to be releasing uh, towards the end of July as kind of a wrap-up and kind of a preview to a lot of the stuff I'm going to be doing in Madden 15. Check that out. If you go to the Facebook, you like it, you get that guide for free. Um, and and that, as soon as that guide comes out, I'm going to link it to you in the Facebook chat uh, or in the Facebook page in the Facebook group that we have over there uh, over at Facebook.com slash MaddenTips365. So if you're li if you like it, you're gonna get that. Another thing that you're gonna do, guys, if, as soon as I get to a hundred likes over there, I'm giving away my 99 overall Thanksgiving a day edition. Barry Sanders card has like 98 speed, 99 elusiveness. It's one of the better running backs card running back cards in the game. So be sure to go over and like the the page so that you. you I mean, it's five seconds, and you're gonna be able to get a free guide for me and be entered into a drawing for a giveaway for Barry Sanders once I hit 100 likes. So do all that for me if you would. I appreciate it. Hopefully you guys will get more out of it than you actually have to put into it. Today's video, guys, very simple. Nickel 335 Zone Blitz Loop Crash 2. Why would you why would you why would you think I was doing anything else? And um you know, guys, I really was actually thinking my base play is actually Loop Crash 3, my personal when I run this for me. And it's a good base play to have, but it's really nowhere near as good as the cover 3 because you don't have the flat zones. So, for my money, I'm probably going to be switching over to cover 3, unfortunately. Even though I love that Loop Crash 3, so, I, I you know, that's going to be our base play. The LB Dogs and cover 3, those two go back and forth. And then you have the Loop Crash 2 here. And the only reason I was saying that is because, like, if you are going to run a zone blitz out of LB Dogs, it would be Loop Crash 3 or the cover 3. The way we had the cover 3 set up, it actually works a little bit better. And it's actually a little bit more uh, consistent with the shell behind it. So... We're giving you two man blitzes in the LB Dogs and the two men under. And today we're going to give you two zone blitzes and the cover three and a loop crash two. We covered the cover three in the first video. Today we're covering the loop crash two. Set up very simple. Base the line. Spread your linebackers. Shift your defensive line to the right side of the field. At that point you're done. Let's watch as this fire comes in through the B-gap. Very nice there. We'll show you that one more time. Base the line. Uh, shift your line to the right. Spread your linebackers, and you are done. Like two steps, um, and there you see it. Now, obviously, the more advanced way, the funner way, is to do this. Baseline, shift your line to the right. Crash your line down. Contain both defensive ends. Spread your linebackers and re-blitz uh, this LOS outside linebacker who was already blitzing anyway. And now you're going to get just a little bit more fire. Just a little more fire. So, um, like that because... IMO, it's a little bit more more consistent than the other version. That's just my opinion. Uh, it's not a fact. But I like it a little bit better uh, because I feel like you get opportunities for, uh, like, stop screens because you're containing both ends. So, But um, anyway, guys, that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, I just want to show you this blitz. All you do is shift your line to the right, spread your linebackers, and base a line, and that's it. You don't even have to base a line, but I like to base a line, but you don't have to do that. So, you know, a situation like this where you see, I mean, even if I base a line, it's really not going to accomplish anything, spread your linebackers, shift your line to the right, and done. Two steps, pressure off uh, the left B gap there. So really good stuff there. And then final note here, if you want to send six, get two free. Shift your line to the right, spread your linebackers, crash your line down, and re-blitz both that side linebackers. Here you're going to see we're going to get six man, get two free at the quarterback. Very nice. That's the blitzing scheme from the nickel three through five. Loop crash two in combination with two men under. Cover three in combination with LB dogs. Great blitzing scheme. Go ahead with that run uh, stopping scheme from the Cat Blitz. And then we have a nice coverage scheme coming to you tomorrow. Uh, so can't wait to break all that down for you. Hope you enjoyed this week's scheme of the week so far. Nickel 335 is fire, guys. I hope you like it. And I hope that when I break down the e-guide version of this, uh, I hope that you get a lot more out of that as well. So be sure to go over and like that page so that you can get, uh, get that free guide whenever it comes out. So thanks, guys. Appreciate it. And we'll talk to you later.